God is able to make what? All grace. Let me explain what this means to you. That remember, the whole idea is that you produce good works. The whole idea is that you have what? Sufficiency. But that the system is that God can route all the graces responsible for the results that must happen. That God has an ability to make all grace to abound towards you. Abound towards you. Please, can I have four or five gentlemen? Is that all right? Any four or five of you? Just come quick. No, no, my, my friend. This man is already... It's not impartation. <laughs> okay. Now, watch this. Please just spread yourselves. Now, watch this. I want to explain this scripture. Please keep the scripture there. This is what Paul is saying. Paul is acknowledging that the possibilities, the results we produce in this kingdom are traceable to the kind, the dimension, and the level of grace that is at work in our lives. Are we clear on that? So he's saying that God is able to make all grace. Immediately we know that there are different levels and kinds of graces. It is not very accurate to believe grace is generic. No, no. Grace is like energy. It may be the same energy, but there are different modes of the operation. And this is what he's saying. There is a grace responsible for wealth and abundance in the kingdom. Look up, please. There is a grace responsible for speed and recovery and restoration. There is a grace responsible for influence. Are we together now? There is a grace responsible for favor. There are different graces. Now, this is our lives and our destinies will need these graces like a pass for the doors to open. You're not just going to come and say, I'm a Christian, I'm born again, let the doors of favor open. No. The grace that makes for that result must be upon you. Are we together now? So, I have the grace for speed. Hold my hands. Every time I walk, this is the grace that goes with me. Watch this. As far as delay is concerned, it will never come near me because the grace is there. But I can still be broke. Watch this. There is because the requisite level of grace that makes for prosperity, this, the availability of this will not replace that. Believers, watch this because I may be describing you now. So you can finish school at age 19 because you carry this grace. You can become a PhD holder at age 22, yet you will not have one car. Because the grace that makes for this dimension of possibility is not in your life. You can be a faithful Christian. I show you how the economy of God's kingdom works. Then one day you come for a conference like this. And then whilst the word is going and your pastor is teaching, another dimension hold my hand watch this listen paul is teaching us here now these things are invisible but your the circumstances in your life know them and they honor them so i'm carrying a grace for speed now i'm carrying a grace for wealth watch this the grace for wealth will make that all of the products and the services I produce, there will always be someone to come to reward me in exchange. But the only problem is that my life may still be hard, although I'm prospering, because I do not have the grace for favor. Now, the proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of men. Are we together i can have this but i will have to wake up in the morning by myself sleep late in the night by myself and even eat the bread of sorrow i'm prospering now look at my life if i come to pastor for counseling i'll say pastor by god's grace i finish school fast by god's grace i'm not poor 
and she says what is wrong i don't know why men don't like me you see i say see listen if you understand this you will know how to help people because their complaints are revealing the deficiency of the grace now paul is teaching us that the goal is that you produce good works dimensions of results and that these results are controlled by several levels of graces just help those under the anointing please listen look at me there is a grace that is responsible for increase that was the grace that was released on five loaf and two fish he didn't just give thanks it's what your eyes saw the eye of your spirit must see more than what happened there when that grace is upon you anything can become anything there was a grace that came from samuel to saul and he said while you are going back you will find three people, each of them holding two loaves of bread. They will suddenly honor you and give you two. What changed? This was a man who was looking for a missing donkey for three days. Challenges are not generic. They are relative to the graces that confront them. This is true. Please, I hope you are getting what I'm saying. It's, tonight's session is just an admonishment and then we'll pray. I'm not really, really teaching. I just want to just add to the many things that God is doing in our lives. And God, watch this. Please give us that scripture now. You will now understand what Paul is saying. Look up, please. Because someone's life is truly changing now. And God in 2020 is able to make, watch this. Listen, sit down. That means there is an explanation for why 2019 was the way it was in my life. Now I see. I understand why my destiny helper could not reach me. I understand that in the economy of God, situations answer to graces. Listen, it is the reason why the helper of your destiny can look at you and sometimes you can say, sir, I'm trusting God for if I can get one of your, your houses just to stay. And he says, no. And he will carry a house and go to another man of God and say, can you give me the honor of having a house in my estate? What is the difference? Nobody is greedy. Nobody is truly greedy. It is what is on you that controls what is around you. Understand what I teach you today and you can begin to get the results from today. It's true. The truths of the kingdom are provable. The results show here and now. Now you will love your pastor for the sacrifice of outsourcing the graces to supply to you. You see that? When you invite a man of God, you don't invite a body. You invite a dimension of grace introducing that dimension of grace to your space to the end that he will make all grace now the bible says god is able but remember in the system of god every house is built by some man yet mysteriously god is the builder so as men do these things it is god walking through them it's why it's dangerous to miss conferences like this you may miss a moment that you will pay with one extra year 10 extra years of your life i was glad he said when they said unto me let us go the house of god is not a restaurant the house of god is not a viewing center there are things that only happen in the house of god so let's continue now this guy is looking for a job And you know how Africa is. You know how these are countries. Oh, he has a certificate in his hand. And that's all he has. My God. And now he wants to survive today's world. And he goes with his CV and says, sir, 
I am a sincere person. I love God. I'm a member of this and that and that church. I'm a member of this. Would you give me a job? And the person said, well, I, 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 well let me just keep it. And he would throw your, what they call it, in the, in the, right there. But then he comes for a conference like this and places that grace on his certificate. And while he's on his way home, someone who has no business calling him. Now listen, it is the grace that will make you feel like he's in yourself and then you will see a notice. You, you didn't just feel like the grace is movement. Truly speaking, believe me when I tell you there are no coincidences. No, 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 no. There is a grace that can make men remember men. It's a grace. The Bible says Mordecai. Mordecai saved the life of a king and they forgot him. They recorded what he did, but he was not rewarded. Joseph helped the wine presser get back and he forgot. But something happened and one day he said, ah, I rem no, he didn't just remember. He didn't just remember. The same way someone who has written on the table, help this person. He wrote it last year. That writing is still there. He looks at it every day, but cannot remember. But you'll be surprised that as you are seated here now, that someone is somewhere thinking and remembering and God is able to make all grace now let me tell you what it means the people that get strange results are those who are like bees they know how God is able to make all grace hold my hands now imagine a man like this in Lagos Are you seeing now you think you are all colleagues hold on i wake up in the morning thank you jesus you are not moving alone when you get to a closed door the grace for speed opens the door when you get to a place where you are not accepted the grace for favor opens the door hallelujah the grace for favor you go to work late you should be punished but your lateness makes you meet the director and he says ah, why are you here and say i'm so sorry sir um my children went he said okay no problem are you the one they've been talking about now you should be punished but the grace hebrews chapter 4 please Verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. If you're a Christian, read it with me, please. One to read. Let us therefore, aha. Uh -huh. Stop. It's called the throne of what? The throne of so that we can obtain mercy. Aha. Uh -huh, and find. Stop. So this is how God helps men who are in need. That every time a man is in need, you are not in need of money. You are not in need of a job. No, the money, the job, the challenges are only reflecting what is deficient. You are not in need of a house. You are not in need of a land. No, they got not the land in possession by their own swords. This is how it works in the kingdom. Those who are planted in the house of God, this is why they flourish. They that be planted, why are they planted? Because the house of God, listen to me, Jacob 
told us the definition of where must be called the house of God in Genesis 28 when he got up from his dream he said surely the Lord was in this place and I knew not he said this is the gate of heaven the house of God that means every house of God must have a connection that touches the throne room from that location otherwise it is not the house of God and there is a throne that supplies graces it is why if you spend more than two years in a living church and your life does not shift you see let me tell you it's because either your unbelief or your dishonor to the grace ministering to you may be why you are where you are it's impossible as a believer 